Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the Envision Makerspace tutorial for the red laser cutter. Today we're going to be going through the simple act of making a name tag. So a relatively straightforward process, but it will get to show you a lot of the features that the laser cutter has to offer. So yeah, let's get started. All right, first order of business, we got to decide what shape we want our name tag to be. If we look to our left, we see we have a couple options for the shape we can make. We have a rectangle, we can make it a circle, or we could use line, polygon, the curve function to make any shape we want. For now, I'm just gonna stick with making the shape a rectangle. So we just click on the function and then drag. So we've got a rectangle right here. Now if we click on the rectangle, we can see we can uh, adjust the size of it. So we want it a bit smaller. Uh, and then if you're not exactly sure the actual, like, real-world size of this, we can look up here to see the size of it in millimeters. So, 255 uh, millimeters is pretty big for a name tag, so I'm gonna get it down to around 100-ish uh, millimeters or so. Uh, should be around 4 inches in, you know, the real world. Uh, then change that. this, make it more rectangular, and uh, yeah, there we go. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is get our name down. So again, if we go over to our left, we could see we have a text function, so we just click that, and then just press right here, and then a window should come up, uh, basically just, you know, telling you what you want to type, what font you want to type it in, the width, uh, character space, line space, etc. So, I'm just gonna throw my name here. There we go. So now we can see my name has been put on the tag, so we can adjust the size right here, similarly to the rectangle. Maybe about that size. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good, looking good. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I think my name tag's looking a little blank. I want a bit, of, a bit of pizzazz in it. So, we go up here, we have a import function where we can actually put in pictures uh, that we want the laser cutter to raster. So, pretty cool feature. Uh, it'll pop up a window looking like so. It'll show us all the uh, images that we could put in. Um, only PNG images are going to work in terms of uh, rastering, so something to keep in mind. So we can Got a, got a nice big image of Osaka. So, size her down to fit in the name tag. A little bit more. And then, bang. Perfect, perfect work. So, we've got our name tag design laid out, but before we get to laser cutting, it's important to define the settings that we want the laser cutter to operate at. We can actually uh, isolate the individual parts of the name tag, uh, through colors. So, for example, we can see the name tag is purple, which you just change by clicking on this. Um, Osaka is orange, and then the rectangle is black. So that allows us to kind of isolate individual uh, settings we want those specific things to be at. Uh, so if we look over here, we can actually change the settings. We can change the speed of the laser cutter, the min and max power. Uh, if you're ever curious about what min and max power to use, we do have a wooden uh, board in the laser cutter room telling you the settings you could use but if you have any further questions you can always ask the staff member on duty and we have the priority priority is just uh what order it cuts in so typically you want the uh the actual vector cut to be last on the list and if you want even more in-depth settings you could always click on uh the mode double click and then you should get this window that pops up uh give you a bit more in-depth settings uh one thing is if you want to change the uh, raster or, or the scan or the cut. Uh, if you do want to cut something, it will require a DXF file, so just bear that, keep that in mind. So, now with all of that in mind, we are ready to laser cut. Uh, if we just go here, press download, this will send the file to the laser cutter. And then once 
that's done. We can just press start and laser cutter should be good to go. And just like that, we have a finished name tag. So hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and uh, yeah, go, go break some eggs.